I'll, I will get with Paul and, and our uh, and our doctors to decide that, and, and they'll make that determination. Okay. And we'll have uh, you, we'll have two crossover games that we'll have to determine uh, when we play those crossover games. Will have to be determined. We've had, you know, prior to this, we've had a number of discussions uh, with coaches involved on how we wanted to deal with it. Uh, so we'll we'll go back to those discussions. We, you know, we had initially had that one schedule that we released. Um, so, you know, I'll get with the Big Ten, uh, or get with the conference office as soon as I finish this, and and find out how we'll how we'll move forward with it. Well, you know, Adam, the bottom line is we're going to play football. And um, the decisions were made for the right reasons. The postponement was made for the right reasons, for the safety of our student athletes. I think our, our, our uh, chancellors and pres presidents acted prudently. Uh, they made the right decision at the time. Uh, they were open-minded enough to, to sit back and, and look at the, the answers and the solutions for the questions that they had. And quite frankly, at the time, there were a number, and I agreed with them, the questions that were, that were proposed to them, the medical questions that were out there, uh, without them being answered, there's no way we could put our student athletes back on the field. But now we have answers. The testing is an answer. The, the dealing with the, uh, the heart situation, is we have answers to that protocol. Contact tracing is answered. So, uh, all those were answered, and that's, you know, in, in the end, that's that's the reason we move forward because uh, the safety questions were answered, the medical questions were answered for for our uh, uh, for by our doctors. You know, I think, um, quite frankly, I think our guys addressed my initial concerns were, how do you meet, how do you practice, uh, how, how do you keep social distancing. Uh, you know, not while you, pra you know, I guess during, during your practice, but in meetings and, and all the situations when, when you have close quarters um, and our coaches have, have answered those, I, you know, I've watched uh, enough TV, uh, you know, with different highlights of different teams and, and what the pros are doing. Uh, I think everyone has learned through this pandemic, uh, how you alter what you've done in the past. And to me, that's the, that's the most difficult thing is you, it, it's not uh, status quo. This is what we've done before. This is how we're going to meet. This is how we're going to practice. It's all been altered. And so to me, that's, that was the hardest thing, adjusting your players and coaches to a change in, in how you go about your day-to-day your, your -day routine. Well, we presented four different uh, schedule not the actual schedule of who's playing who, but the timetable on schedules. And uh, one did have a, an open date. That was, it would have been starting on the 17th. There would have been a, a by date somewhere in everyone's, uh, on, on everyone's schedule. Um, but I think the our COPC decided a, another week may answer more questions uh, and, and allow us to be prepared better and uh, this schedule did not have a bye date so that we can comp complete our schedule in time to, to, to be involved in this, uh, the college football playoff as well as our, our, uh, our, our bowl games. I think that's, that's been, that, de that determination has been made. And I'll be honest with you, I, I, I've spent all of my time, most of the athletic directors, our senior women's administrators, have been working hard with the other schedules, although we 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 worked through Jim Phillips, uh, one of our cohorts who's on the basketball committee, to stay close to basketball. Um, but since the spring sports, and I'm not speaking officially here, but the other spring sport or the other sports have been moved. Fall sports have been championships have been moved to the to the spring. Um, and I think they'll stay that way. Um, Obviously, it concerns all of us, and certainly concerns me. But uh, the, the campus uh, doesn't afford the fact that they're going to test daily. And uh, you know, quite frankly, we've been, you know, for the past month up until this past weekend, um, our players as far as practicing, working out, uh, and all that, 
anything that's been uh, ha that has occurred at our facility in our stadium and our practice sites um, we, we've been able to control and so now as we move forward in, in daily testing I think that you know that makes me feel very much at ease yeah once you put pads on that that is a contact practice um, I think we you know that that schedule is is set already I think the Big Ten has released that the days that we can start practice which is now we'll have pads and uh, helmets and spiders and then we will go to pads and uh, that includes contact now we, we have not had that we've not had that discussion although we have constant discussions with our athletes about responsibility uh, we've tried to take it a step further and, and ask them to be leaders on this campus and in the community uh, where, where they can send the message uh, a safe message uh, and, and help uh, improve our situation here in Madison and, and particularly on campus. Yeah, I, I think um, we've worked in Fox has been very, a very good partner in, in all of this. And uh, as we presented the schedules and we had a, we had quite a few set schedules that were presented to us and uh, we went through them with Fox. They took a look at them um, and, and gave were, were advisors as far as which ones made the most sense for them. And uh, one of the things that they asked that, that we'd have flexibility in our scheduling as far as playing uh, possibly on Friday, prime time, maybe, uh, maybe even on a, a, a Monday at, at, at some time. But uh, we're, we, we agreed that we would be flexible uh, in our scheduling. Well, that, we, we've, con we've continued to help that, uh, that group uh, with that test. We, we, our players will continue to, to use that test uh, along with to support uh, the other testing. We will continue our testing, what we've been doing, the swab test, uh, as well as the saliva test uh, on our campus. And then at least two weeks before and probably be even before that, before we play our first game, we will go with the testing uh, that the Big Ten uh, Conference finalizes. There, I think uh, if, if I heard the commissioner properly, uh, they're down to two tests that, they're, that uh, our doctors are looking at, that they've approved. Uh, they're, they're, they're a quick return test. And, uh, and we will then, then go to testing daily. But we will use uh, the one on our campus and help them as far as moving forward with, with approval um, up until the time we start with, with the test provided by our, our conference. Yeah, I, I can uh, I, I can tell you that uh, it will affect us some, it will help some, but we will still not uh, sell tickets to, to the public. Um, the COPC, uh, our chancellors and presidents uh, came to the agreement that we would not have uh, fans in the stands other than parents of the players and, and of the staff. So uh, that, that's still 80,000 seats in the stadium that, uh, that we don't have. So it, it still will affect us greatly. That's yet to be determined, although <clears throat> we do have a, a protocol, a medical protocol in place and every campus will have a, a, a medical, uh, I'm not sure of the terminology, but have someone that's registering uh, all, all of our, our facts as far as uh, testing. And there, there are criteria which are de determine uh, the percentage and whether, whether you're at risk, whether you close down or, or whether you can move forward. So that's all gonna be laid out. That protocol will be laid out with the Big Ten for us before we start the season. So it isn't a team by team, make your own decision it's going to be laid out uh, Big Ten protocol. We'll have someone on campus that, that records it, uh, goes to the Big Ten office, so we know exactly where we are. As far as, um, you know, how a forfeit or, or, how that count, uh, or how that will be registered or counted, uh, we haven't determined that yet. Well, I think he, he talked to uh, commissioner and, uh, I think one of the things he did was uh, uh, 
make tests, make uh, saliva tests available, and um, and and show how how returning to football in the Big Ten was important to him. Um, so, you know how much how much of a factor he was. I think he he drew attention uh, to Big Ten football and 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 had a had a solution. So, um, how much that uh, how, how much that had to do with uh, us being back on the field? I, I don't know that answer. 